everyone. This is a video demonstration of the calves on stool exercise. So what you're going to need are two little squishy balls. Um, if you don't have two uh, squishy balls, you can get a towel, like um, sort of like a medium-sized hand towel, and roll it. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing the towel or the balls on the flat part of the back. Okay, so it's going to be on the flat part of the back here. Um, and it's going to allow us to uh, create this rocking motion through our hips. Now, uh, you can do this with your uh, feet up on a chair, or you could be laying down with your feet up on the couch or some other stool, whatever, whatever you happen to have in your home. So uh, I'm going to show the exercise, and then afterwards I'll kind of get into a, a little further explanation on the different uses for this exercise. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we gotta get our feet up onto the chair. We're gonna lay back, so nice and comfortably. We're gonna take our two balls and we're gonna place them underneath on the flat part of our back. And then we're just gonna allow the weight to rest on the two balls. Um, in terms of your hands, you can have them out to the side or on the belly, um, the choice is yours. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a rocking motion. So I'm going to rock my hips forward such that my butt is getting closer to the ground. It doesn't have to touch the ground, but it's just moving in that direction. And my back is arching. And then I'm going to lift up. And so my back is gonna get straight and I'm lifting my hips upward away from the floor. And so rocking forward and back, down and up. Now it's really important when you're coming down, when you're tilting your hips forward, that you don't do this motion quickly. It really needs to be a slow, controlled, rhythmic forward and back, okay? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna stay in this position for either five to 10 minutes, depending on how much time you can dedicate to a little bit of uh, deep breathing and uh, relaxation. It also depends, uh, depends on your pain levels, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna talk a little bit about some of the extra uses. Uh, so this exercise is really great if you have uh, low back pain. Um, but if you find that the rocking motion back and forth is a little too much for you to start, you can do this exercise without the balls, without the towel, just get your feet up on a surface and then just allow your body to rest. It's a really great kind of resting and opening up of the uh, low back position. Um, this is also great if you have some sacroiliac or like pelvis pain because you're getting that nice rocking range of motion. I kind of like to think of it of kind of like rocking a baby to sleep. So it's really gentle and slow and back and forth and controlled. Um, and as well, this exercise is really great for pelvic floor tension. So if you have pain in the pelvis or if you have some incontinence issues because of tightness in the pelvic floor, um, this exercise is really, really great. So when you're rocking forward, so your back is arching and your buttocks is coming closer um, to the ground, your pelvic floor is actually lengthening. So what you wanna do is you wanna actually inhale while your pelvis is rocking forward toward the ground creating that length in the pelvic floor, exhaling as you lift the hips up. So it's inhale, rock forward, exhale, rock back. Maybe I'll just demonstrate that uh, real quick if you are looking to do some breathing or um, pelvic floor relaxation. So again, we're going to rock forward and inhale, rock back and exhale. So inhale forward, exhale back okay and so the same um the same length of time applies five to ten minutes um for relaxation purposes hopefully you found this exercise helpful and i look forward to seeing you next time bye